is Walter Walker? That's a good question. Walter Walker was a fixture in this town for about 45 or more years. He was uh, originally the reporter for the Daily Sentinel. I say the because I think at the time that he was reporter, he was the only reporter. And that would have been back in, he started in 1917, I believe. And then later became editor, and then he became the owner. He actually was one of the organizers for the for purchasing or building the Avalon Theater in town, which became a main fixture in town. When it comes to the Avalon Theater, he brought a lot of people into this town that would not have been here otherwise because Grand Junction was between Salt Lake City and Denver and it was a good stopping place for people who had been in Denver or Salt Lake City. And a lot of this um, Walter Walker paid for himself. At one time he served briefly as a U.S. Senator when Charles um, Waterman died in office. Walter Walker is, is really a central figure in this town. He had his hand in everything. He knew all the politicians, um, for instance, in the archives here, we have signed letters from FDR, that's Franklin Delano Roosevelt, of course, and also Eleanor Roosevelt, um, Carl Sandburg, um, just about everybody that was anybody in politics had communication with uh, Walter Walker. You know, just as a tip, he wrote a lot. When I mean, you write a lot, you get a lot of reaction. You get a lot of reaction. You probably have a lot of enemies, a lot of friends. And, and that's kind of how he, I think, became quite famous in this town, in this region. So he was able to initiate a lot of projects in Grand Junction. It's therefore, you know, popular, well regarded here, you know. There are just so many things that we wouldn't have if it hadn't been for Walter Walker. As we've talked about before, there were some other things too in his past. He also had uh, promoted the uh, original showing of the Birth of a Nation, which showed at the Avalon Theater, and then was re-released in 1924. And so there's kind of a sketchy period there uh, where Walter Walker had supported the Klan for a brief period of time but he did dismantle the Ku Klux Klan, as I understand it. Um, he later you know, turned adamantly against them. His instinct, I think, was to watch the political scheme and um, find out what was popular and that sort of thing. Uh, whether you agreed with his politics or not, he was a wonderful man and he believed in Grand Junction. I don't know what Grand Junction would have done if it hadn't been for Walter Walker. People are very complex, so it's a difficult question to answer, you know. Who is Walter Walker? Well, Walter Walker was a pretty dynamic character. 